Hello, Paris. It's a bit ambitious for five minutes, isn't it? It's not the first time I've been here. It's not the first time I've spoken about this. It's not going to be the last time I speak about it either. But I'm not going to give that talk. The one where I show you the code? That's just going to run behind me. Don't look at the code. It's in GitHub. It's in SlideShare. It will be on YouTube. The code doesn't matter. This is what matters. When I gave the first version of this talk at .go in 2015, everybody in the world was really doing their nut about this. Someone at Lenovo thought the best way to help improve advertising was to put a HTTPS proxy in the middle of their BIOS. You thought you were making secure connections to the internet on their machines. You weren't. You're making secure connections to their BIOS, which made secure connections to the internet on you, your behalf. It could then lift out bits of traffic. And obviously, they meant this for web. But they actually didn't write it just for web. You know, a good dev goes all the way. It's all your secure traffic. Improves advertising quality. Huge scandal. Disappeared off the face of the map after a few months, because all these things do. Now, at present, we're all getting quite excited about AI content scanning. Oh, look, AI content scanning, Facebook. Oh, Microsoft. Oh, Apple. Shock, surprise. They all want your data. The question is, why does it matter? So this little set of slides is just going to run. They're on a three-minute, 30-second loop, so I'm going to overrun by 15 to 20 seconds. I apologize. Why do we care if people can see our stuff? I mean, why does it bother me that if I have records at my doctor, anyone in this room might potentially see them other than my doctor? It doesn't, doesn't matter, does it? Well, we know it does. Privacy as we say in English, shares a root with several French words that will start priv as well. This is old stuff. This is things that people have been thinking about since the Middle Ages. We have privity of contract. It matters it's you and I that have a contract. It doesn't matter who else has a contract with me. It only matters that you and I do. We have NDAs, so other people can't read our contracts. And yet, as developers, how often does anybody ever say to us on a project, oh, could you make this private, please? How often do they say, oh, well, yeah, it's really important that we help that user do such and such, but keep it private. No, we don't want to see it. It's important it does the task they want done, but we don't want to see it. What CTO walks into the room and says, I'm really fired up today. It's so important I don't know what my users are doing. No. Oh, here's a chart showing what they're doing. Oh, here's a debugging API so we can find out exactly what they were doing at 3.14 in the afternoon on Thursday. We are actually the problem. Because actually it's quite important. Everything I do in a computer is private to me and my computer. That everything I do on your servers is private to me and your servers. Not private to me, your servers, your marketing department, uh, three companies that you have contracts with that also, oh, well, they outsource that, and that's taken care of in Albania because we've got this new earthquake-proof data center, and the law's so helpful. So the purpose of this talk is to leave you with two things. This is a toolkit. You can go and play with all of this code. Every single line of code that's going past has been hand-tested and debugged and works. It will walk you all the way through the bits of networking you should use. And as JavaScript developers, I highly recommend WebSockets. It's easy. And it walks you through RSA, you know, that public-private key stuff everybody gets obsessed over because it's clever. And AES, which is just random numbers that make your data random. And I would urge you to all go and play with it. And try and build things in which you can't figure out from this box here what's happening on that box there. And the next time somebody walks into your office and says, here's this new requirement, and you go, 
well, I wouldn't want to be the person whose data was in there. You can say, oh, well, we can do that, but... And then you can do it properly. Remember, there is literally no privacy in software if we do not build it. We don't control the hardware, we don't control the browsers. We're the ones who have to put the effort in. If you want to find out more, I consult on digital identity for anybody who wants to do anonymity on things. The slide deck is on SlideShare. The code is lurking in GitHub. There is a free chapter to this book. Download it. It's nothing but how to do crypto. For free. It's the only, I'm the only person on the planet who gives you the free stuff and then says, buy the stuff that's not important. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.